The 10 Craziest Facts About How the One World Trade Center Was Built One World Trade Center was once known as the Freedom Tower. It is sometimes referred to as One World Trade and One WTC. This skyscraper sits at number 7 on the list of the world's tallest buildings and is the tallest structure in the United States of America. The structure is home to several different offices and businesses. In addition to that, it features a desk in the style of an observatory from which guests can look out over the city. The centerpiece of the revitalized World Trade Center complex is the building known as One World Trade Center. The complex comprised seven individual buildings and was situated in the Lower Manhattan neighborhood. The address for the One World Trade Center in New York City, New York, United States is 285 Fulton Street, Manhattan. Let's take a look at the top 10 most interesting facts about One World Trade Center, shall we? Number 10. It is the building with the highest elevation in the United States. The skyscraper known as One World Trade Center can be found in New York. It is 1368 feet tall if the antenna on top of the roof is not included in the measurement of One World Trade Center's overall height, which is 1776 feet. Architecturally speaking, the tower's height places it in first place not only in New York City and the United States, but also throughout the whole Western Hemisphere. It is the fourth highest in the United States and the third tallest in New York City, when measured by the height of the roof. The Willis Tower in Chicago is the tallest building in the United States, followed by the Central Park Tower and 432 Park Avenue in Midtown Manhattan. Number 9. David Childs was the architect who designed the One World Trade Center. David McGee Childs, an American architect, was born on April 1, 1941 in the United States of America. The architectural company of Skidmore, Owings & Merrill has honored him with the position of Chairman Emeritus. David Childs is the architect responsible for the stunning design of One World Trade Center. This is because he was responsible for designing the newly constructed One World Trade Center in New York City. The Yale School of Architecture was where David Childs received his education. Number 8. An attack destroyed the original structure. The first World Trade Center was a part of an urban renewal project that was undertaken when it was built. David Rockefeller served as the driving force behind the undertaking. 1966 marked the beginning of construction, and by 1971 people had started moving into the completed buildings. Five hijackers who were associated with Al Qaeda were responsible for crashing American Airlines Flight 11 into the northern facade of the North Tower on September 11, 2001. The impact occurred between the 93rd and 99th floors. The incident was responsible for the deaths of about 2,996 persons. Immediately after this, preparations were made to begin the reconstruction. Number 7. The architectural design of the new building was criticized. In comparison to the old complex, the new layout was supposed to cut the amount of office space available by more than 3 million square feet. In addition, there was a restriction placed on the number of floors that may be used for office space as well as other facilities in an early concept. The floor limit was enforced by Silverstein, who expressed fear that greater floors would be a liability in the case of a future terrorist attack or other crisis. Silverstein's issue is that higher floors would make the building more difficult to defend. Number 6. The intellectual property that belongs to One World Trade Center is its name. During construction, this structure was referred to as the Freedom Tower. The Port Authority declared that changing the building's official name from Freedom Tower to One World Trade Center would make it easiest for people to identify with. As a result, the name One World Trade Center was chosen. Since the World Trade Center Association, DPCA, had previously acquired the rights to use the name World Trade Center in 1986, it became public knowledge in September 2013 that the WTCA was engaging in negotiations on the use of the World Trade Center name. The WTCA wanted to use the name World Trade Center in exchange for free office space in the tower valued at $500,000 in exchange for using the name World Trade Center in souvenirs related to the project. Number 5. There is a desk in the observatory in the building. The observation deck of the building spans three levels and can be found on floors 100 to 102. Both tenants and guests of the observation deck have access to the building via their private doors. Tour ambassadors make use of an interactive application known as City Pulse to tour guests around the city, as well as provide them with information and anecdotes about New York. The cost of admission is $32 for each individual. Discounts on admission are offered to children and seniors, and the observation deck is free of charge for first responders to the nine elephants attacks and the families of victims. Number 4. It was built employing eco-friendly building techniques throughout its construction. One World Trade Center has environmentally friendly design elements throughout the building. The construction as well as significant portions of the interior of the building are constructed using recycled materials. The gypsum boards and ceiling tiles fall under this category. 
almost 80% of the waste items generated by the tower are recycled. The building incorporates a rainwater collecting and recycling system for its cooling systems, even though the roof space of any tower is restricted. Number 3. The structure is built to withstand the salt thanks to its fortified architecture. The design of the structure incorporated quite a few different precautionary measures at various points throughout its layout. This was done in case a significant accident or terrorist attack occurred in the future. The walls of the building's stairwells, elevator shafts, risers, and sprinkler systems are all constructed out of reinforced concrete and are three feet thick. Additionally, there are pressurized stairwells that are particularly broad. The building is equipped with a set of stairwells that are reserved solely for the fire department as well as biological and chemical filters that are distributed throughout the ventilation system. Before driving via the underground road that leads to the facility, each car is inspected to ensure that it does not contain any radioactive materials or other potentially harmful objects. Number 2. A young man 16 years old gained access to the site while it was under construction and scaled the structure. Justin Casquejo, then 16 years old and a native of New Jersey, successfully climbed the tower in March of 2014. It is believed that he gained access to the property through a breach in the fence, as a direct result of his actions, he was taken into custody and charged with trespassing. He snuck into the building while disguised as a construction worker and managed to persuade an elevator operator to take him to the 88th floor of the building. After that, he traveled up to the 104th floor through the building's staircases. He scaled a ladder to reach the antenna, where he remained for two hours taking photographs. Number 1. Larry Silverstein is the person responsible for developing the land. American businessman Larry A. Silverstein is being described here. In the realm of real estate, he is responsible for several developments, one of which is the World Trade Center complex in Lower Manhattan in the city of New York. He submitted a proposal to lease the original World Trade Center complex in the year 2000, when the Port Authority put it up for lease because he was interested in purchasing it. Following the terrorist attacks that took place on September 11, 2001, Silverstein announced his intention to rebuild. Following a great deal of back and forth, Larry was selected as the developer. Do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos.